Good morning, hummingbirds. Welcome back to another session of art with us, Henry and Kong. Hi, Henry. Hi, Kong. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. Yeah. So, I'm do, well. you, do you know what we are going to draw today? Horses. Horses. Yes. I love horses. Okay, I'm going to test you. Do you know how to spell horse? Horse. H O R S E. Very good. H O R S E. Horse spells horse. Yeah. Okay. Now let's talk about the different parts of the horse. Okay. Okay. The horse, like any other animal, have ears for hearing. Have eyes so they can see where they're going. Noses. Smelling. And mouse. Uh, eating and do they talk? Oh, they say, brrr, brrr. yeah. Whinnying. Yeah. So, that's it. what do horses eat? Grass. Grass. Yes. Yeah. Mainly they eat grass. They also eat oats. Oh yeah, grains and things. And grains yeah. and some fruit. I don't know. Oh yeah, I heard they like apples. They love and apples. Carrots. And carrots. Yeah. Yes, because they're friends. so sweet. And the horses just love it. Me too. <laughs> you love everything, Kong. Okay. I'm an omnivore. Okay, let's talk about this beautiful long length of hair all along down its neck. It's called the mane. Mane. Like a lion, Henry? Yes, a lion has okay. a mane too. Mane. So, Right on top of his head over here, yeah. there's a little lock of hair. This is called a forelock. Forelock. Mm -hmm. And of course, it has a beautiful, long, oh. wispy, luxuriant tail. Yeah. Okay, I'm Harry, gonna... did you know yeah. horse hair can be used for violin bows? <gasps> oh, that's yeah. so cool. Yeah. I did not know that, Kong. Yeah. Or cellos or whatever. Well, I do know that in ancient times, yeah. the Chinese would use horse, horse hair to make whips and also to make brushes. Oh, that's pretty cool. And let's look at the legs. Yeah. Horses oh. have long, slender legs that comes down to a hoof. Are they cloven hooves? No. Nope. No. Horses are one-toed, so one. they don't have cloven hooves. Okay. Alright, so this is how a horse looks like. Nice. So, shall, shall we try drawing our very own horses? Yeah! Okay, what do we need, Kong? A pencil! Pencils? Colored pencils. Mm -hmm. Paper. Paper? Yeah, maybe an eraser? Yeah. Or a sharpener? Yeah, the usual. Okay, are we ready? Yeah, let's go! Let's go! Yeah. I got my paper ready and I got my marker. So I'm going to show you guys how to draw your horse. Okay, so we are going to start with the horse's head. So the first thing you need to do is you are going to do a curved line like that. All right. And then a big round black oval inside. This is just nostril. And then we're going to have another line coming out like that. And I'm going to have a long line coming out, and another line coming out. It stops here, and over here you're going to do a curved line. This is for his cheeks. So this is the muzzle and the mouth and the cheek. Okay, so over here I'm going to do a round circle for the eye. And the pupil. Alright. So over here we're gonna do the ears. Okay, so you got the head of the horse. And then it's gonna come down the neck. Alright. Okay, let's do the front legs. Gonna come down. Right. Okay. So if you go 
going to do is back. So I'm going to do curve line over here like that. All the way down. And then over here. Like that. And then I'm going to close up this valley. Okay. And now I'm going to do another leg. Just a leg on the other side. Okay. So we're going to have a long, beautiful, wispy tail. And of course, we're going to have a nice mane. And there, you got your horse. And of course, if you want to put a rider on your horse, you must have a saddle. A saddle like that. So, the rider will sit in the saddle. Now, of course, it needs to have the bridle. The bridle is leather straps that go around the horse's head and it comes down to reins where the rider can hold on to it and ride the horse. So let's just imagine there's a person here. riding the horse okay so this is how you draw a horse and of course when you draw the horse you can do the main differently I'm gonna show you another one Draw the eye. Now let's start with the ears. So you could do the main this way too if you like. And I have a little fall up out here. Yeah. What do you think? Okay, let's try to do a picture. Okay, so let's begin. I'm going to start with my horse right over here. So we're going to do an oval shape. All right. Have the nose. Okay. And we have two lines coming out. This line is shorter. And then we're going to have the cheek the line for the cheek. Then we're going to have the eyes around, circle, and the pupil inside. And now let's start with the ears. Okay. The ears come out over here. And now let's do the neck. Comes down this way. Comes down. And let's do the legs now. Comes down and it tapers. down to a hoof, right? I'm going to have the other leg over here. Very good. So now, I'm going to do a line, a wavy line like that. Okay. And I'm going to come over here. Close it up. Close up the belly. Let's put in another leg. Very good. So now let's have a tail. And 
doing it slightly different. Let's have a beautiful mane. Nice. A lot of hair in the front. What do you think of my horse? Very good. Okay. Let's draw another one. How about another one over here? Okay. How do you do it? Do the nose. Okay. Do the mouth. Then it's going to be a line. Show the line at the bottom. And a curve upwards for the cheek. Let's do the eyes. Okay. Now we do the ears. Good. Let's do the neck. Very good. Let's do the legs now. Comes down. Tapers down. Comes to a hoof. Okay, so I have two horses. I'm gonna have another horse over here. Three horses. Okay, so what I'm thinking I'm going to do right now is to make this into a carousel. I'm going to put in the saddles.
so I completed my carousel. How about let's add some color to it. Put right on the poles. Put here. And put right over here too. Let's finish the pole with yellow. some lines to show the lights shining so okay since these are not real horses we can do any color we like and even patterns too that will make it more fun so I think I'm going to let this horse have an orange mane Just to make it interesting, I think I'm going to give it a green body. What do you think? Do you think a green horse would look funny? Oh, I quite like it. It looks cute. Okay. So I'm going to color it green. I forgot the orange for the tail. So let's fill that out with orange. I 
What about the hooves? I think let's do orange hooves as well. Let's do a different color for these balls. How about yellow? How about parents? How about red circles on his body? That might be fun. I'm going to use yellow for the body. I think I forgot the tail over here. Let's add the tail. Tail's missing. Okay. What color shall we use for the hair? How about pink? Do this horse now. I'm gonna color this horse purple. Now let's use yellow for the mane and its tail. And the hooves too. Okay. How about some brown for the saddle? You can color the bridle too. What do you think? I think I like my carousel. It looks really fun. The horse is going round and round. Okay, hummingbirds, that ends today's lesson. I hope you had fun drawing horses, and I hope to see you again very soon. Bye-bye now. Bye, Henry. Bye, kids. Bye-bye.